Hey guys, it's Denise, and today's video is going to be all about bringing your Apuntia cactus out of dormancy. It's not going to be a facts video, it's going to be more just showing you um, a cacti that was severely dehydrated because um, it's dormant, but really shriveled, really, really droopy like this one, giving it a little water and documenting how it perks up over time. Uh, these are a few Apuntias here. Apuntia tend to get really shriveled when you are giving them winter dormancy, especially if it is in a warm house like the environment I am providing them. However, they just perk right back up. So I'm going to give you a closer view of what a shriveled cactus looks like. So this first plant here is Apuntia Rafida Minima Monstros. I'll put the names down at the bottom. And this one definitely did shrivel up this year. So give you a better view, oops, here, so you can see there, a little bit shriveled, oh, there's a good view there, so you can see it just looks kind of like cracked dry skin, but it's not a problem at all, and it will fill right back out, now my Cylindria Puntia, oh man, that's how limp this one is, I actually just finished cleaning it up, it had been covered with flies that ended up on it at the end of last season and also had tons of perlite and stuff in the crevices but it was super easy to clean out because of how droopy it was so a good time of year if you want to try to get rid of anything that might be inside of your cactus that you don't want there that was a big spot where there was a lot of stuff so anyways story time over you can see there just how much it really is drooping down but the main stem is holding itself up as well as this top part here this cacti i think is going to be probably the most dramatic transformation post water just because i know how it looked at the end of last summer and how much smaller it is now so this apuntia here is apuntia violacea um also called what is it also called santa rita cactus and this one probably suffered the least amount of shriveling, uh, barely any. It, it pretty much hasn't changed all winter. Now, I do need to go ahead and repot this before watering. As you can see, it's completely loose in its pot. We had a horrible, horrible windstorm, and this guy blew over, and I had to throw him in a non-draining pot, um, and then just left him for the winter. So, as you can see, it's fine to just wait as long as you don't add water. So, this one, probably less of a dramatic transformation. So now that I've shown you these three Apuntias and how they look after their winter hibernation, I'm going to go ahead and show you the one that we're going to be focusing on in this video. So the first little guy that I'm going to wake up is my Apuntia monocantha variegata back there. The really shriveled guy. Um, this cactus actually I showed in my succulent hall of shame just because I thought it was funny at how much it shriveled up. Um, I've already given it a tiny little bit of water and it like perked up a little bit and that was a few weeks ago but I'm gonna go ahead and give it some more water today and actually wake up this plant. So this is distilled water just in a little squirt bottle. That way I know I'm not adding too much. My goal here since I already gave it a tiny bit of water before is to put in just under what would be a full soaking. I don't want to do a full soaking. This is how I slowly introduced my cacti to water last year and it seemed to work. So we're just going to do the same thing this year. So I'm just letting the water actually go through the pot and waiting to see if I think that's enough. Give her a little more. That's gonna be it for now. So this plant will be going back where it was in the window with his friends, and I will be back to show you when it starts plumping up.
So it's been 72 hours since I watered this plant. Um, the water has been drunk up by the cactus and is oh, and or has been evaporated from the pot. I did check it and it's bone dry. So that means this is going to be the end of this video. That is how much this cactus is drunk up with his first official full water of the season. There was a huge difference. I hope you guys liked seeing it go from completely limp to almost standing up straight. I think it was filled out the most yesterday, um, which was around the 48 hours. Um, I do think it probably ran out of water yesterday and then just started shrinking back down again. Uh, but I will give you a closer look at what it looks like now. So I think here is a good view where you can see those little pads are just popped out where they were pretty shrunken before. They just barely look like bumps on the plant. Okay, move. Those things are super cute. Because this was such a small cactus, I really did debate putting it into hibernation, but I am glad that I did. Whoops. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can really see how wrinkled it is there, and it does definitely need um, a few more waterings probably to plump up all the way. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this guy perk back up, and I hope it got you excited for spring. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. And it's sometimes called, I think, like the cinnamon cactus. It looks like it has cinnamon on it, which would be funny if you took a cutting and then you poured cinnamon on. You wouldn't even be able to tell the difference, really. But anyways, oh my god.